Showing off Modern Warfare 2, like at E3, we're showing off the first gameplay of it that anybody's seen. So, first person, exactly what you're going to be playing. We showed off Cliffhanger at the Microsoft press conference, which is one of our earlier missions when, you, when you're going uh, duo, two man team with uh, Soap McTavish, who you played as in Modern Warfare 1. And the important thing about that is because Modern Warfare 2 is a direct sequel to Modern Warfare 1. So, this story picks up where that one left off. This appears to be the work of the ultra-nationalists led by the Shadow of Zakhaev, one Vladimir Makarov. The fate of your team at the end is was left up in the air, so a lot of those loose ends, when you killed uh, Zakhaev at the end of Call of Duty 4, are going to be tied up in this one. Variety is really big for us in our design philosophy, and not only throughout the entire campaign, like you're going to be going from the snow level, which is very contrastly different from Rio when you go to Brazil. I mean, Brazil's colorful, you're fighting through the favela, it's these slum dog areas, and then you have the snow, and then we have a variety of other locations which are just as drastically different as those that you'll be playing in. Not only location, but also gameplay mechanics. Like just in the cliffhanger demo we did at the Microsoft conference that we're showing here at E3, I mean, you start off with the stealth, so you're stealthing through with your heartbeat sensor and you're picking guys off, and then that can open up in straight action if you get alerted or if you just decide to fight your way through. And then ending with like the epic action movie experience of on the snowmobiles trying to get away. Going to snowmobiles is, is awesome because it, it's everything's physics enabled. We, we've upped our physics engine in the Modern Warfare 2 engine, so the, the uh, snowmobiles actually react to the geo on the ground. So I mean, you're feeling every bump and move, but it's smooth, it's fast, it's fun. You're shooting with your Glock while you're on it. It's awesome. Don't slow down. Are you moving on your dick? Go, go, go. We're very fortunate to have so many people playing our game and we do things like the live Twitter feed which you can see in our E3 booth right now of people tweeting suggestions right on our giant screen out there. And I mean, we, we're using that feedback. We're putting it into the game. Uh, some of the stuff that's incorporating is dynamic AI. So they use the environment. It's not just whack-a-mole where they pop up in the same space twice. They know the environment and the way that they can traverse it. You have vertical combat, so they're leaping from rooftops and they're, they're kicking open doors and finding ways to get around you and push you forward and flank you. I'll make a run for the next week. Give me some power and fire. This is a step up from Call of Duty 4. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 introduces a lot of cool things that go on behind the scenes in the engine that, that fans will never know the details of, but it really impacts the gameplay. Like, we have streaming textures now in our engine, which allows us to do much bigger worlds. Like, that cliffhanger world is much big. We have huge environments. But not only that, we can do much more detailed environments that you're fighting in. So everything's high res, true high res, very detailed. So you're fighting in these worlds that react how you expect them to react. Come to our booth, check out our, our live Twitter feed, see all that stuff. I mean, we're, we're showing off Modern Warfare 2. It's coming out this November, November 10th, 2009. So, I mean, be sure to check it out and jump online.